oh, the first classical work I ever read, yeah. I, I, I was a, I read the Iliad, right? As a kid, I was obsessed with it. Mm. You know, everybody was always like, ta- you know, talking about the Odyssey. Oh, we're, you know, we're this great adventure, and I'm sitting here. I, I will never forget, um, under like, feeling that moment when Achilles is just, he's he's in his wrath, and and Patroclus is dead. And you, that that sense, I mean, my like you know ten year old sense of of a, of empathy with this character. I mean, he's probably he probably says more about me that I'm empathized with Achilles than anything. But also, um, just an, I mean, there's I feel like there is so much humanity in the Iliad that um, that for me exceeds um, Odysseus's adventures and the Odyssey. I. I uh, uh, it's the it's that it's one of the, it's it's like a cornerstone of my understanding of what storytelling is, and you know, uh, it's it's amazing. I, I I'll never. I mean, I even I even sat through Troy, like that movie in, from <laughs> two thousand and whatever. Um, that actually the guy from Game of Thrones wrote, uh, and you know, with all of its fallacies, I I can't help but I just love this story. I love it's. A, power and love and how that can create and destroy the world. I mean, it's, it's incredible. And Priam, I mean, uh, Hector's death, and uh, it, it's incredible. That's exactly how I feel. I, it's because it's, it's the piece that, even though I understand what happens in it, it's the piece that I still don't fully understand, you know? I mean, it's like, people always complain like that, you know, the second or th- whatever, the third, second or third chapter where they're going through all the names. And they're like, how can you read that? And I was like, yeah, yes, I understand the names are, you know, the names are kind of interesting, but if you th- really think about it, like somebody memorized that at one point, you know, somebody was delivering this, that's kind of cool. Um, but more than just a list of names, it's the, it's the story of the Trojan War. I mean, uh, I remember when I was a kid, um, I had, oh God, I'm not gonna remember his name. I think it's, is it, I can't remember if it's Bill Moyers or not that ends up doing the search for the Trojan War. It's like, it was like an old TV special from the 80s that I had, and I had like the companion book because my parents knew I was so into it. And um, like before they really discovered the ruins of Troy or wondering if this was even a real place, I think is part of, was part of my fascination with it as a kid. It was like, it was like Atlantis. It was like, does, does this place really exist? And if it does, what does it mean? And I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't be more articulate on it. I, I am processing it still as a 26-year-old. <laughs>